Hi, I'm Ben, and welcome to Nitro Tech Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at this model. This is the Hawk Sky 4 channel brushless remote control plane. As you can see, great box, very sturdy, and we've got lots of different designs on the top here. Let's take a look inside. As you can see, everything comes packaged very nicely, very safe, so there's no need to worry about damage during transport. First of all, we'll take a look in this one. In this box, we have our controller. As you can see, it's a very nice controller. It's a 2.4 gigahertz controller, so you're going to get a very nice range. This is a four channel plane, so it's much, much easier to fly than other different types of planes, like these six channels and above. Very, very nice controller. And here we also have our instruction manuals. We recommend that you always give these a good read through, please, especially with a plane like this, because it will require a little bit of assembly. So we have one of the wings. and aim for one of these wings. Packaged very well. We also have the tail section of the plane. We have the decals. And the decals obviously do not come pre-applied to this plane, so that means you can apply them yourself if you wish. In this box, we have our main fuselage of the plane. Yep. Just open that up for you so you can just have a quick look in and see what we're looking at. As you can see, this is a very big fuselage. It's a, made out of a lightweight foam, which is great. It's very, very strong, and it's also crash resistant. So there's no need to worry about massive amounts of damage when you do happen to crash it. As you can see, it's very, very long. With the wings on as well, it's going to be a huge model. The wingspan is going to be about 1,370 millimeters. The length is about 917 millimetres and altogether, because it's made of a lightweight foam, this thing is only going to weigh around 600 grams, so it's a very light airplane. And in here, we have the charger and the battery. The battery itself is very, very nice. This is 11.1 volt, 1800 milliamp. So it's going to take around two hours to charge. Very, very nice battery. It's going to give you a great run time. Also in here is your rotor. That's for mounting on top of the plane. This is great because the majority of the weight is beneath the rotor. So it's going to give you more stability during flight. Very, very nice design. Let's just place that down there for now then. Now inside here, we have our servos. These are fantastic servos. These are 8.4 gram micro servos. This is fantastic because it's reducing weight within the model, so it's not too heavy to take off. But it's also great because they are very, very reliable and perfect for steering this sort of plane. So when you do get airborne and you're flying around, you're gonna be able to control the plane perfectly with these. Astounding design. Now inside here, we have our little run, uh, transceiver right there. That's very, very nice. Like I said, it's a 2.4 gigahertz uh, transmitter. And obviously it's the same for the receiver. You have a great control over this plane. 
This plane has also got a brushless ESC, which is electronic speed controller, which is great, very, very reliable. So you're going to be able to vary those speeds and depending on what kind of aerobatical maneuvers you're going to perform. It's got a brushless Dynam 400 motor in here. Very nice, you're going to get some good speeds out of this. Overall, you are going to need to assemble it a little bit. It's not going to take you very long. Once you put it together, all you need is eight AA batteries that will be for your controller. Once they're in, start flying. This is a fantastic model. This and more are available on our website at www.nitrotech.co.uk. Thanks for watching.